Heavy flooding continues across China, putting into question the safety of reservoirs and China's grain supplies. According to officials, torrential rains and widespread flood in southern China has so far killed over 100 people, and over 100 Chinese rivers have exceeded warning levels. One key reservoir in the southeast has opened all of its nine spillways to discharge the flood water, the first time since the reservoir was built in the 1940s. Chinese media reports that the amount of rain this summer hasn't been seen in decades. In Hubei province alone, the amount of rain in June equals half of the water volume of China's biggest lake. Officials say the heavy rain will continue. They warned about the possibilities of flood from all major rivers in both the north and south, frequent landslides, and the safety of the water reservoirs. They called the flood control situation not optimistic. The ongoing flood is adding one more test to the ruling Communist Party. It's already grappling with the pandemic, a struggling economy, and international pressure for its virus cover-up. Meanwhile, the flood also raises further concerns over grain supplies in China. Many of the provinces suffering from the flood are major producers of grains, and supplies have already suffered due to the pandemic. Agricultural officials from Sichuan province told Radio Free Asia that the authorities are currently encouraging farmers to convert their fruit farms to ones that grow rice. They say the policy is national and officials are offering large subsidies for farmers who do so. In May, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said it was imperative to ensure food supply and reward green producers. Penny Zhou, NTD News.